Local high school teachers are being challenged to do a better job preparing millennials for the digital workplace. It is part of what's called the Hackathon Workshop. CBS 13's Ron Jones is in Rockland tonight where teachers are learning to think outside the traditional computer box. The purpose of this two-day workshop is to teach these teachers how to teach their students to improve their future value in the workplace. First, we have hashtag Team Bird Box. Almost two dozen teachers from high schools throughout our area are participating in a hackathon. Sponsored by Rockland's Hacker Lab and Intel, they're learning the basics of how computer hardware and software work together. It's very exciting. And a little complex. So we are learning how to integrate the code with electronics. Their goal is to figure out how to integrate basic computer science technology into their classroom curriculum. With more tech-savvy millennials filling the workplace, these teachers recognize they must do a better job preparing their students for the future. I think about all the jobs that nowadays are going digital. Gone are the days of factory jobs where teenagers could go from high school graduation to the assembly line. So where it used to be that everybody could get a job in a factory, you know, on an assembly line, that's all automated. The only jobs now that is out there are people who can fix that or design that assembly line. And waiting until college to master these skills may be too late. But now kids probably as young as like fifth grade can go ahead and start on this journey. And for students to have a successful career journey, they can't work on a digital island. It takes high-tech teamwork to make the, well, you know. This really gets them thinking and learning how to work with others and just developing those problem-solving skills that, you know, they really need to be successful in their futures. Pretty helpful. And if you'd like to learn more about the Hacker Lab, we've set up a link on our website. Just go to CBS13.com.